Hello all, welcome to part 23 of Cucumber PDD training series. In this session, I'm going to show you how to mention pretty plugin in Cucumber options of runner class in Cucumber projects. So let's get started. So guys, here we have this Cucumber project in that as part of the previous sessions, we already created this runner class. Okay, I just named it as my runner. You can name it anything guys. And also we are added a plugin already. Okay, this is an existing plugin. Uh, in one of the previous sessions, I covered about this plugin. Okay, that is Cucumber HTML report plugin. So to generate the HTML report, Cucumber HTML report. But now in this session, I'm talking about this pretty plugin. Okay, so what will happen if pretty plugin is not there? I'll show you first. Okay, before adding the pretty plugin to this Cucumber options of this runner class, if I run this runner class, it will run all these feature files. This feature files will run the step definition methods in these classes. Okay, let's see what will happen. It has run and you see, we just got the print statements printed. Okay, from the step definition methods, all the print statements got printed. Okay? These are the print statements. Okay, you see this many print statements got printed. Okay, so if you go to this login.java, here in each and every step definition method, I provided print statement. Just to segregate this print statement, I added this symbol double greater than so that you can understand from the output that these are all the print statements. Okay. So the runner class has invoked this feature files. Feature files have invoked this uh, step definition classes. Step definition classes have invoked the steps. And inside the steps, we have provided the sample print statements. They got invoked and the print statements got printed here. But that's it. But you see, the output is not colorful. If you want to make this particular output in the Eclipse ID output console a better, what you have to do is go to the runner class. And in this Cucumber options, apart from this plugin, you add one more plugin, guys. Okay. You can add one more plugin here. Just put a comma here and uh, double quotes and put, provide the plugin here. The name of the plugin is Pretty Plugin. Okay. Just mention the Pretty Plugin inside this Cucumber options of this runner class. Now run this. You will see the difference in the Eclipse out ID output console. Okay. So now the same thing, guys. We are running the runner class. Runner class will invoke this feature files. Feature files will invoke the step definition classes and its methods. And you will see that. Okay, the output is a bit different now. You see, you are getting the scenario names and the print statements. For you see, steps are also coming. The the steps of the feature file scenarios. Okay, the steps that are there in the feature file scenarios. For example, login dot feature. What are the steps here? User navigates to login page. Step is there. Okay, that is coming here. You see, you given user navigates to login page, and because of this step, this particular method got invoked and print statement got printed. Okay, for this step, this print statement. For this step, this print statement, and so on. Okay. You see, all the things came in a beautiful color that is green color. Okay. If they are working fine, they're coming in green color. What if there is a failure? Okay. If a particular step is failing, okay. One of the step is failing. Uh, some highlights are coming. That's okay. You just uh, whenever you get such kind of things, even after you have the step definitions, just have to right click and say Maven and say update project, guys. Once the project is updated, all this uh, uh, improper uh, highlights will go up. You see, now it's working fine. Okay, so I will do one thing. I'll go to one of the uh, feature file. I'll open the search dot feature file in the last scenario I'll take. And uh, one of the step, like let's say user clicks on search button, I'll try to fail this step guys. Okay, I'll click on control and click using the mouse. It will take you to, uh, take you to that particular method. Okay, this is a method. And uh, I'll, I'll just fail this method intentionally. In A is equal to nine divided by zero, you'll get an arithmetic exception in Java. Okay, if you try to divide a number in, by zero in Java, you'll get an arithmetic exception because of which this particular step will fail. And after this step, there's another step that is then proper text informing the user. Okay, this particular step will be skipped. Since, uh, this, since this particular step is failing because of an ex exception, the next following step will be skipped. So now we have enough things to represent in the Eclipse ID console, like uh, what color it will be displayed. Okay, if every step is passing, you see all the steps are coming in green color. What if a particular step is failing? It will come in red color with the trace. Okay, trace where tracing where exactly the the problem came and what is the reason behind the failure of the test? Which kind of exception came? All those things will come here in red color. And if any particular steps get skipped, they'll come in blue color. Okay, let's see that. Okay, I I'm intentionally failing one of the step in the feature file. Now right click run as JUnit test. You will see the difference. Okay, not all steps will come in green color. You will see the most of the steps in feature file will come in green color. Okay, from the beginning, if you see, uh, this is a login related test. You see, everything is in green color. Steps are coming in green color, green color, green color. And you go to the last one, search feature file. The, and last scenario in the last scenario in the search feature file, this is the one. You see, first two steps got passed. And third step, user clicks on search button got failed. 
you see the red color message is coming and user clicks on search button is coming in red color and the stack trace is coming okay where exactly it got failed because of which exception arithmetic exception at which line everything is coming you see feature file 18th line okay it's failing and because of this step the next step got skipped you see the last one is coming in blue color this particular step got skipped guys this is coming in blue color because of this previous step got failed the next step didn't get executed and it's coming in blue color okay it's coming in blue color for skipping the skips test will come in blue color whereas the failed test will come in red color the past test will come in the test which got run successfully will come in uh, green color okay so guys uh, i'll just remove this uh, changes okay which are failing the test okay i don't want that and only when it is required i just go there and you know fail the test and all otherwise i'll do it okay so just to show you guys like how the uh, past test past steps fail test and uh, skip test will come in the output eclipse id con uh, eclipse id output console when you provide this pretty plugin in the runner class okay I just wanted to show you. So that's all for this session, guys. Okay. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye.